We had little oversight of how the Center for Closing the Health Gap spent $2.75 million in taxpayer money during the last five years. That's according to an audit released today by City Manager Harry Black. Now this comes two months after a nine on your side investigation found that the health gap was billing the city for some questionable spending. I spoke with one member of our team who worked on that investigation. WCPO has done considerable footwork on the health gap. Joining me now is Amanda Seitz. You were one of the team members to really focus on this. What made you guys pay attention to the health gap in the first place? Yeah, so we started taking a look mm -hmm. at just who the who the city was sent, spending money on when it came to nonprofits back in January. It was prompted by some council members who were raising some concerns, and we found the health gap got really more money than any other nonprofit in the city. And so we requested those invoices and kind of found some questionable spending, um, some bills that weren't complete, um, billing ahead of time for work done, and, and some questionable practices. So the reporting prompted an audit, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. And we now know the results of that audit. What are the broad strokes? The biggest takeaway really is that the city basically admitted that the contract it had with this nonprofit was too vague, in some cases virtually unenforceable, and that city employees were not really trained mm -hmm. properly to approve these expenses and review them. The city manager said that this all shows lack of internal administrative oversight and quality control, but that's not a crime. That said, what will be changing? Yeah, so he also put some blame on this nonprofit, right, for some of the bills that it sent to, mm -hmm. to the city. So they're going to be much more closely watched. And nonprofits in general that receive funding from the city, they're going to have to give really detailed performance measures, really detailed description of the work that they provided and what the city was getting in return for that work. That's better for taxpayers, isn't it? We hope. <laughs> all right, Amanda, thank you for joining us. And for more on this story, certainly all you have to do is go to WCPO.com.